Hello, Ryan Walner here, Technical Advocate from Portworks, and today we're going to be talking about something new called Autopilot from Portworks. Uh, this is all going to be about managing the automation of growing your storage resources for individual PVCs or cluster. Here on the left, you can see that we have a Grafana dashboard. This is looking at three of our PVCs, which are listed on the right here in the Portworks user interface. You can see each one of those volumes are one gigabyte in size. Now these PVCs are backing CockroachDB deployed in our Kubernetes cluster. And here you can see each one of those nodes listed. The total size of the database cluster is about three gigabytes. You can see here that we're using very little as of now. Each node is using very little. Uh, and this is all going to change, right? And this, we're going to run a job which generates load on this database by inserting a whole bunch of data over time. Now, Autopilot will do its thing by um, using a rule which we'll show later that will automatically grow the, the PVC size by 100% when it reaches 40% utilization. Now, here you can see the data in the database growing. Grafana is looking at the used capacity of each individual PVC. And when that crest 40% is when we're going to see the change. So you can see the database is scarily high usage and we've crested the 40% and autopilot kicks in. And you'll see the usable capacity go up to 4.5. And on the right, you'll see our one gigabyte volumes go to two gigabytes, it grew by 100%. And now we're back down to a safe percentage, right? Our total usable capacity is, is okay again. And that's autopilot kicked in for the first time. Now it's again above 40%, so autopilot should kick in again based on our rule and grow the database PVCs once again. So again, if you watch the usable capacity, it'll grow here and on the right, our individual volumes will start growing to four gigabytes because it grew by 100% of the two gigabyte PVC size. So Autopilot did its thing and we're back down to a good percentage for the use percentage. Now our job is still running in the background. So uh, as data is getting added, when we hit 40%, now our database has eight gigabyte PVCs and the total usable capacity is 22.5 gigabytes. And again, um, we're gonna go ahead and let the job add data to our database and it's growing and growing and growing and we'll soon hit 40% here in a minute. Uh, again, if we watch once we hit 40%, Autopilot will go ahead and grow our 8 gigabyte volumes to 16. So you can see that node 2 here grew to 16 and its usage is 22 compared to 45 and 43. And a little bit later, our other database nodes will also um, grow their PVC size to 16 gigabytes. And the third node just did. And now uh, the first node will go from 7.5 to about 15. And our total uh, usable space is 45 gigabytes. And you can see this reflected in Lighthouse by each PVC being 16 gigabytes. Okay, so now what actually happened, right? Um, on the left, you'll see an autopilot rule. This is what you'll actually install in your cluster. And this targets the CockroachDB by labels and says that the condition says if it's greater than 40% of the total usable size, then grow it by 100%, but don't make the volume bigger than 400 gigabytes. So the first thing that happens on the graph on the right is that it grew from one gigabyte to two gigabytes, right? That was the initial uh, growth. Then it went from two gigabytes to four gigabytes because again, our condition and action says 100% growth. And so 100% now grows from four to 8% when it goes above 40. And then again, we grow the data and it goes from eight gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. And that's how Autopilot works. It automatically manages your PVCs for you. You don't have to touch a thing. You just set this rule and you're off. So hopefully that's really interesting and stay tuned for more. Thanks.